So we've got our earth here, and for as long as I can remember, people have always described the atmosphere as like a blanket, okay? A blanket that surrounds our earth and protects us from outer space. And that's a good way of thinking about it, but you can't think of a blanket as one single layer, okay? This blanket actually has five layers to it. So it starts off with troposphere. Now the troposphere is the layer that we live in. It goes from Earth all the way out to about nine miles up into the atmosphere. That's where all weather occurs, um, and that's where all our oxygen is that we breathe. Our next, or our second layer is stratosphere. And I know what you're thinking, oh yeah, stratosphere, that's in Las Vegas, that's that really tall casino. Uh, I have to say that the stratosphere in Las Vegas does not reach the stratosphere layer of the atmosphere. Please remember that the troposphere is nine miles thick, so the stratosphere definitely isn't nine miles tall, right? Please know that. Now, the stratosphere after nine miles, that's when it starts and it stretches 21 miles. So it is thicker than the troposphere. Not much going on there um, other than maybe a few tiny wisps of cloud, but uh, definitely no weather going on. So let's move on to the third layer. Third layer is weight. I forgot there is something important about the stratosphere. The stratosphere holds this extra little layer inside of it called the ozone layer. Now we're going to talk later about the ozone layer, but it is very important to our earth, okay? So please note the ozone layer inside of the stratosphere. Okay, now third layer is the mesosphere. Mesosphere, meso means middle, so it's the middle layer and it's uh, 25 miles thick. So man, doing some quick math just to get to the outside of the mesosphere, you gotta travel uh, 30, 55 miles. Um, and the mesosphere is the one that really doesn't have that much going on. Um, the mesosphere with the next layer combined forms something that's important. Uh, let's talk about that next. Uh, the fourth layer is thermosphere. Thermosphere is the fourth layer. So again, we've got troposphere, stratosphere with the ozone layer, mesosphere, and then thermosphere is our fourth layer. This layer is huge. It's actually 130 miles thick. And so I mentioned that the thermosphere with the mesosphere um, combined together creates something, and we call it the ionosphere. Really weird name. Um, inside of the ionosphere, a couple things happen. First of all, that's the two layers that uh, make it to where our meteors burn up as they try and enter our atmosphere. So that's a nice protection we have going for us. Also in the ionosphere, we have um, aurora borealis happening. Now that's the northern lights. The best way I can explain the northern lights is uh, energy from the sun in the form of electrons traveling to earth. When they hit into our atmosphere, it causes basically like an electric storm up in the atmosphere, and we see it as the northern lights, or aurora borealis. And again, that happens in the ionosphere, which combines the mesosphere with the thermosphere. And we have one last layer of the atmosphere, which is the exosphere. Now we put exosphere up here with outer space because depending on which website or which organization you talk to, a lot of people put these two in the exact same category. So exosphere does have a layer between thermosphere and exosphere, but there is no layer from exosphere to outer space. It just kind of starts to blend in until it becomes outer space. Um, this is the layer of the atmosphere where satellites orbit our Earth, and so you'll have uh, satellites coming around and space stations and uh, again I didn't write how thick it is because again it just blends in with outer space. Um, yeah those are the five layers. Now you might be thinking okay well are there like magic bubbles that separate between these layers? Like what's the difference between troposphere and stratosphere? What happens right here at this line? Or 
What about stratosphere to mesosphere? What's this line about? Well, let me explain. So I've got this graph here, and I'm going to do my best to explain what it all means. On our left side, we have our altitude. And so down here, we're starting like at sea level down here, and then we're going all the way up, and all the way up at the top would be outer space. Well, outer space. On the bottom, we have temperature. So on this far left side, it's super cold. On the far right side, it's super hot. And so if we think about it here on Earth, it's always a lot hotter, like down by the beach. And as you climb up to the top of a mountain, it gets colder, right? And so that's the trend that happens in our troposphere. Our bottommost layer is the troposphere where we live. Um, So we're gonna say that it starts down here at the beach and the temperature is really hot, but as you go up in altitude, it gets colder and colder until it reaches a certain point in the atmosphere where all of a sudden the temperature starts changing and it starts getting hotter. And that point right here, that is where it changes from the troposphere to the stratosphere. And the stratosphere, the higher you go up in altitude, remember the higher we go up, the higher the altitude, the colder it gets, or the hotter it gets, excuse me. We're going back toward the hot side. And so it gets hotter and hotter until it reaches the mesosphere where it starts getting colder and colder and colder. And the mesosphere is actually the coldest layer of our atmosphere. And then the mesosphere starts getting warmer once it gets into the thermosphere. And the thermosphere is actually the hottest layer of our atmosphere. So it gets super hot until it reaches our exosphere where it starts getting colder and colder and colder and then pretty soon you're out into outer space where there is no atmosphere, it's just cold. So the difference between the layers again is the temperature, okay? As you climb up through the troposphere, it gets colder and colder. Once you reach the stratosphere, the temperature actually starts getting warmer and warmer. You reach the mesosphere, it goes back cold. Mesosphere turns to the thermosphere, it goes back way hot. And then thermosphere goes back to cold once it gets to exosphere until you're out into outer space. So I gotta throw in a little fun science fact for you guys. So we we're talking about the different temperatures. Um, I gotta tell you, even though it's like super cold up here in the mesosphere, you actually wouldn't be able to feel how cold it is. And the reason that is is because there's no air around you once you're that high to be able to feel the coldness. Like we feel temperature down here on the troposphere because there's so much air from all this pressure pushing down on us. We have a lot of air around us, a lot of oxygen, lots of nitrogen. We feel the temperature here. But as you go up in altitude, you get less and less air around you. And so even though it's super cold, you wouldn't be able to feel it. Um, on a side note, you also wouldn't be able to breathe, so I don't think that the temperature would be your biggest worry, right? You would need oxygen once you're that high. But yeah, kind of cool. You wouldn't feel the temperature even though it's so cold right there. Same thing up here, even though it's super hot, wouldn't be able to feel it because there's no air around you. Anyways, fun science. Science is awesome. All right, guys, so for this Thursday, we're just going to do a small project as our assignment. I want you guys to take a blank sheet of paper, white paper, and I want you to draw the different layers of our atmosphere. So kind of like this, blank piece of paper, draw the different layers, label them, and then do some research and figure out what are some things you might be able to see in those layers, okay? Obviously, there's going to be a whole bunch down here in the troposphere, but what could you see in the stratosphere? What could you see in the mesosphere? What could you see in the thermosphere? Do some research. Draw some things into your drawing. Make sure you have uh, at least two things in every single layer and take a picture with your... Chromebook and send that to me and that will be your Thursday's assignment. Get it to me by Thursday afternoon. All right. Have a good day.